All right, so I'm here with Ross Eubanks. Ross is one of the project managers here at Federal. Ross, how you doing, man? Good, how you doing? Today? I'm all right. So how do you, you've got four different divisions here yes, at, at Federal. How do you balance all the things that come in and uh, with all the things that need to go out? Uh, through our salespeople and project managers with the orders coming in the door, whether yeah. it needs some engineering done to it or it's a drawing that we need to manufacture, that project manager or salesperson releases it to engineering for uh, drawing checks uh, or actual design. Mm -hmm. uh, through engineering and our manufacturing vault, which we recently purchased, uh, I believe last year from Autodesk, yep. it helps us control any changes or uh, drawings coming through the pipeline. Uh, once they're released from engineering, it goes into manufacturing for programming and scheduling to our system. Okay, and you, you guys have this really huge project going on right now, the AWE, and we're right next to one of the one of the controls. Or is this a motor? What what, what component this is this? This is a linear motor segment. Uh, okay. You'll see in back of us, uh, these are the raw extrusions uh, okay. that, that come in. Wow, so changing it from a weldment design to an extrusion just in, uh, in, in, in material and labor costs alone is really, and, and then, you know, I, I heard improved quality and, 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 and even, you know, it's more accurate in terms of uh, its its stiffness so that, you know, you have to have, you know, what, down to a millimeter type of uh, uh, clearance between the components so this thing moves right. Absolutely. Very tight tolerances, uh, the FEA feature in Autodesk uh, in the uh, inventor suite that we have helped us design this. Uh, we had uh, we used that as part of our sales pitch mm -hmm. going to the Navy because the weldment was already uh, shock qualified okay. uh, and the extrusion had to be sold as such and the FEA helped us to do that. So uh, we're going to do a drop test here later or something, right? Yes, yes sir. Uh, we are actually a drop test is for something that was designed using the uh, Autodesk FEA uh, to prove it out. So we're going to see if the proof's in the pudding actually out here. All right, can we get a closer look? Absolutely. Come All on right. over. So what we're going to test here is what Bob and Mark were doing on the computer. We're going to drop the uh, the vehicle down and see if it, everything holds up, right? We're going to see if the FEA, the proof is in the pudding. See okay, if, so see what's your comfort works. level? You think it's going to hold up? It, hey, it, hey. it has improved us wrong before. Get ready to do this test? Yeah. All right, so here it goes. <laughs> it worked. It worked. The simulation has not failed us yet. All right. So just as predicted, uh, Ross. You know, I I really appreciate you uh, showing me around the shop and showing me this awesome design. I really appreciate it. Not a problem, Rob. Thanks for right, coming man. out. We'll talk to you later. Take care. All right. In the last segment, I meet up with Doug Ridenauer, president of FEC, to get his take on how technology is helping them win extremely competitive and sizable military contracts, and how it is that in a slow economy, they seem to be in growth mode.